Hey everybody, welcome to Overtime with Oregonian. You know me, I'm Billy, and of course you know Pete. And uh, today we're going to talk about wide receivers. I know in kind of the last video we did, uh, if you on our website, which you are right now because you're watching this, you will see that we went out to Putnam to chat with Tommy the Shoe, Shubanashu, Shubanashu. See, you gotta, I, I, no, you gotta, every time you've said it, you've still, it. Yeah. you're selling yourself short. Man, it's, it's hard. But anyway, uh, we spotlighted him, uh, the kicker, uh, and we'll do more of those as time goes on, I'm sure. But today, we're going to spotlight wide receivers. Well, let's go over to Pete uh, for his uh, 5A breakdown of some of the best receivers around. Pete? Yeah, so we're kind of looking at duos today, but I actually want to start with a, uh, a, a quadruplet if you will, um, for Wilsonville. There, it starts with, with Harrison Steiger for them. Uh, just a junior, but he's got a 5A best. 13 touchdown catches this year. He's up around 560 yards receiving, uh, which puts him at an average of 21 and a half yards per catch. Uh, that's pretty insane if you're anywhere over 20, but 21 and a half is, is particularly a great number. But it goes, it, it's not just him. It's, it's uh, fellow juniors Johnny Neville and Justin Altenhofen and the only senior of the group, Elijah Benedict, but they all get targeted about the same. They, they're all around 25 receptions and all over 400 yards. Johnny Neville's got 11 touchdown catches, 450 yards. I mean, that's why Wilson has been so good. I mean, either Connor Neville or Tom Gomez. I mean, it doesn't really matter who they're running after these days. They're throwing the ball in the end zone quite a bit. So. That's why the wild It's almost like are... you can just close your eyes and chuck it in <laughs> Wilsonville, and someone's going to go up and get it. Yes. Yeah. I've got a couple, a uh, couple duos that I wanted to highlight uh, in six A. Uh, first, we'll start with Westview's duo, uh, Mason Elliott, and Samari Toure. Uh, just a pair of fantastic receivers out there for them. Uh, Mason Elliott leads Class Six A with fifty-three receptions, and guess who number two is? I'll Samari give you a Toure. hint. It's Samari Toure. Oh my gosh. Uh, he's got forty-eight catches. Um, Going back to Elliott, uh, Elliott's 53 catches for 705 yards and six touchdowns, and Samari Toure has 48 catches for 727 yards and eight touchdowns. Uh, combine those, those guys' production, you get 101 catches, 1,432 yards and 14 touchdowns. Toure just broke the Westview uh, career receiving yards record against Century last week. I'll be having a story on that here sometime by the end of the week. On OregonLive.com. It's called a plug. You know where to look. Hey, I know you had one more team, though. So Yeah, I'm... yeah. Um, obviously, if we're talking about passing touchdowns, we want to talk about West, West Lynn. I mean, it's, it's the West, it's it's the West lot, connection, yeah, right? Off. Yeah. West Lynn. Um, Connor Bergeron leads Class 6A in receiving yardage with 932. So he's almost at 1,000 yards. And there's, what, two weeks of the regular season left? That's right. Not too shabby. It's, he's got 39 catches for those 932 yards. 12 touchdowns, uh, and Cody Coppich has 35 catches for 535 yards and 6 touchdowns. Put those together. There are less catches than Westview, obviously, with 74, but just a teeny bit more yardage with 1,467 and 18 scores. As long as you get in the end zone, it doesn't matter how you do it, but Elliott, Toure, Bergerin, and Coppage are doing a fine, fine job catching the ball and finding pay dirt. They're making their coaches happy. Absolutely. So, stay on our site, look at all of our cool stuff, and we'll catch you next time. Best overtime duo in the country. <laughs>